Before we start game two, I'll be showing you guys the awards for the season. Damian Lillard won MVP, James Wiseman Rookie of the Year, D'Lo Sixth Man of the Year, Jonathan Isaac Defensive Player of the Year, and we got MPJ Michael Porter Jr. that won Most Improved, Tyron Lue Coach of the Year, All NBA First Team, All NBA Second Team, All NBA Third Team, we got Paul George in there, Zion Williamson made it as well. All defensive first team, we have Paul George, Jonathan Isaac, and Mitchell Robinson from our team that made it. That's definitely great to see that they made first team all three together. It's crazy to think that our team made all defensive first team over Kawhi Leonard, Anthony Davis. Those players are usually always first team, so to see them on second is quite crazy to be honest. The video was supposed to be uploaded on Friday because you guys know I'm already doing the challenge where I'm supposed to upload every day. But Friday and Saturday, it wasn't allowing me to... <laughs> I think YouTube was glitching. Every time I uploaded the video, it would say error and then I don't know what was going on. So it said failed, so I had to keep trying every day. So sorry if it's two days late, but I do have videos scheduled for the rest of the, <laughs> sorry, rest of the week. So hopefully it doesn't glitch out again, but I have my videos set out for the week because I want to complete this challenge like I said I'm doing it until my birthday so I'm gonna keep doing this as long as I can so in this game by the way it's game two out of three I'm saying three because this is a best of three series so whoever wins two games wins the round and the main reason we did this is because on PlayStation 4 people used to loaf on their series and it would take some people two weeks to finish a matchup and some people would finish their matchups really fast and then the whole league would be waiting for that one person to finish the series with the other person so we had to reduce the number of games for the first and second round because like I said people were loafing hard and then we increased it to best of five for the conference finals and I think the finals is best out of seven if I'm not mistaken I'll try to upload as many playoff games as I can if it doesn't get glitched or anything like that because you know 2k always finds a way to mess up some online leagues <laughs> so I'll try my best to upload whatever is possible so I'm gonna be talking about this gameplay now for the first quarter it was pretty close Lamelo ball hits a three and it was white release and it went in still so this first quarter was pretty close because like I said he has great defense and I also switched Okogi to Lamelo ball because I used to have Chris Paul on him and on my bench I used to have Brogdon but I tried to put Okogi now so that was one of the adjustments I made so Paul George gets the offensive rebound right there I'm gonna dance right here this is gonna be a nice beautiful play dancing with Paul George get to the rim and I get my takeover so Kemba Walker behind the back gets the floor to go so like I said the floor is really a really great tool to use on the offensive end if you have a point guard that has the badge and Jonas is gonna miss a wide open shot one thing I noticed about centers on next gen is that their releases are so slow I haven't seen anyone being able to shoot consistently with centers and I'm talking about like pure centers not stretch bigs not stretch I mean not stretch bigs, I mean power forwards some people play power forwards at center but I don't consider that as a pure center what I'm talking about is like Mark Vassal, Jonas and other like seven footers that can shoot in real life but on next gen it's really tough because the release is so slow you can contest a shot really easily and uh, yeah it's really tough to shoot with these guys that's why I always leave them open I rather dare them shoot with their bigs than their guards Chris Paul with a nice cut right here and we get the basket inside so again my opponent is not giving up he's gonna keep splashing with Kemba with Mitchell with Lamelo. the game plan is not gonna change Buddy heal with the miss, we get the nice offensive rebound, and we get the put back. So he's gonna keep slashing with Donovan Mitchell right here. I play great defense, but you can't stop these animations. Sometimes you just gotta let it go. Pick and roll with LaMelo Ball. I'm gonna try to let him shoot the three, but he ends up driving into the paint, kicks it out. We contest nicely. Great defensive possession. Chris Paul is going to try going coast to coast. I take my time, find Jay Crowder, back to CP. Pump fake into the lane, and we get the basket inside. Again, Donovan Mitchell gets into the paint. You can't stop that animation. 
Lamelo is getting in the paint again. I'm telling you, driving in the paint is so OP on next gen. <laughs> like, you gotta have a Kawhi Leonard or someone like that to at least contain it. Uh, even if you do have a Kawhi Leonard, sometimes it's it just can't be stopped. It really depends on the situation. Donovan Mitchell gets into paint again, makes another layup. So if you have a really good slasher like Westbrook, John Rant, or those players, you're going to score in the paint easily. So winding down this first half, it's a tie basketball game. Again, he drives into the paint with LaMelo Ball. Chris Paul pick and roll. Nice oop right here. Nice extension by Robinson. I also want to mention that this is still our first season on PS5, so there's a lot of improvements to be made. <laughs> and by that, I mean gameplay-wise, settings-wise, player-wise. There's a lot of things that you could improve from the first season. It's not going to be perfect, so one thing I should have improved is I should have been able to use Robinson much more. Uh, the alley-oop situation, he has Lob City Finisher, that's something I didn't utilize much. Um, but there's a lot of improvements that can be made for Season 2. We're going to be seeing that in my next videos, but like I said, this is the very first season on PS5, so the gameplay is not like A1. We're just going to get better from here. So now that I got that out of the way, I want to talk about this third quarter. Paul George is going to go crazy. <laughs> I think this will be the best quarter of Paul George's season especially in the playoffs considered Paul George is absolutely going to take over in this third quarter defensively our whole team stepped up as well you can see you put the clamps right here we get the strip Brogdon's going to go all the way to the paint and he's going to get the layup what I want to mention as well is that there's one or two users that left the league in number season two. Oh my god I'm mixing up my words in season number two there's uh, one or two users that left recently, so I'm going to be hitting up the waiting list because you guys, I already told you that we have a waiting list. I'm going to be messaging whoever is waiting first to join up. And if ever there's more spots coming up, you already know I'm going to be messaging you. And if you want to be added to the list, just hit up the comments section. Great defense right there, but Donovan Mitchell makes a crazy three over PG. So we're going to run a nice play right here. Buddy healed off the screen. I'm in Paul George, my bad. Like I said, my screen is so small, I can't really see the players. Lamelo Ball pulls up for midi. That's exactly what we want. I gave him that space on purpose. Brogdon's going to step back for three, and we're going to green up. So, <laughs> this third quarter has been special so far. Defensively, we've been stepping it up. And Paul George, like I said, is a special quarter. He has takeover now from stripping Donovan Mitchell. Hesitation, step back. Man, there's a lot of action going on. He tries to go for the steal. PG with the corner three. You know that's money. So as you can see here, PG has 17 points and the quarter is not even over. He blocks Donovan Mitchell right here. Can he go for 20 points in this third, <laughs> in this third quarter? Who knows? But we'll see because he has takeover. And you know, when someone has takeover, you got to feed them the basketball. Left to right crossover. Back into the paint. Nice reverse layup, avoid the defense. Pass to George. So we're going to run another nice play for PG off a of screen. I pump fake, he jumps. We're going to create some plays for our teammates, but I didn't want to shoot that with Jay. I was trying to look for PG, but Chris Paul ends up cutting in the paint. Beautiful patience. He brings a double team, they're loading up. Jay Crowder, now I shoot it with him on the other opposite corner. I'm telling you, you gotta be patient, wait for the defense to react, CP3 off a double screen, we get the floor in the lane. One thing I want to mention as well is that if you hear some noise in the background, it's nothing I can do, sorry about that. I live in a noisy neighborhood, so I, I can't control that unfortunately. So Kemba goes for the floater, gets rejected here on the putback attempt. There's only one possession left in this third quarter, and it's a 20-point lead thanks to Paul George. Nice defensive stop. So now it's an 18-point game. We got a little cushion. CP3 with the floater. Kemba Walker is going to try to dance once again, and he gets into the paint. He gets blocked again. <laughs> Kemba's been getting blocked the second half. Not as effective as previous games. Jay Crowder from CP3. That Dimer and Floor General really helps out. Your shooters a lot. Kemba's gonna try and step it back. He doesn't shoot it this time. 
So like I said, we're playing great defense. Our whole team is hustling. Look at that dive. Even though we're up by 23, we're still diving on the floor. We really want to close this game out. We attack LaMelo Ball. We're giving him a taste of his own medicine, baby. So, <laughs> LaMelo Ball is mad now. He's mad. There's only about five minutes and a half in this fourth quarter to go. But our team is still hustling for offensive rebounds, for steals. So our team really wants to close this game out like I mentioned. We're closing out hard, but JJ Redick somehow greens that corner three. Nice play for PG. I cut into the lane. He gets blocked. That's pretty rare. Paul George doesn't really get blocked that much in this game unless you don't know what you're doing and you're taking weak layups. But if you know how to use PG, it's hard to block him. So after that three-point shot, I had to call a timeout because I don't want him building any momentum. Because you know on 2K when someone builds momentum, how crazy it can get. Paul George misses a shot right there, but we get the steal right back. So we're looking to close this baby out. 20-point lead looks pretty safe right now. LaMelo ball in the paint. At this moment, I'm not trying to double-team anyone. If he scores, he scores. Because I don't want to be giving up any threes. Because a lot of people, when they drive in the paint, the computer tends to help out and leave three-point shooters but I made sure that it doesn't happen Paul George with the oop from CP3 so Paul George again right to left crossover hesitation back to Jonathan Isaac I'm gonna attack Gordon Hayward off the dribble I'm trying to attack his weak defenders LaMelo Ball can't play defense Gordon Hayward is not really a good defender himself so I try to attack those guys as much as I can so Chris Paul strips LaMelo right here <laughs> 180 oop at this moment, our team is just toying with him. So I gotta thank PG13 for stepping up in the third quarter. Ooh, look at that facial right there. I just want to say this was a great series. My opponent played great defense. And his offense was tough to stop as well. But we end up finding a... Oh, oh my goodness, Paul George. He just got 41 points after that dunk on Gordon Hayward. So what a way to cap off the night for PG13. So like I was saying earlier, this was a great series. If you guys watched the regular season, this Boston team gave us trouble as well. So it was definitely great to play them in the playoffs. Buddy Hill with a three-point shot to seal the deal. So this series is over. It was a sweep. 2-0. And we're going to advance to the conference finals. I'm going to show you guys the stats for this game. And then I'll be showing you off the playoff bracket after this game. So LaMelo 24, Donovan with 17. You can see the rest of the stats for his whole team. And like I said, Paul George really stepped it up. 42 points, 16 for 24 from the field, three steals. Chris Paul, Brogdon, everyone else contributed as well on the scoreboard defensively. They did a little bit of everything. That's what I like to see. So going into the stats of the game, we shot pretty good. First quarter, second quarter, let's go into the third quarter because that's where the big difference was. 31 to 13. Like I mentioned, shout out to PG and our whole team. So right now we're in the conference finals. We're gonna be waiting for the winner from the Brooklyn Nets and Toronto Raptors. And from the Western Conference, we got the Phoenix Suns, who's in the conference finals as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a comment. I made this video extra long for you guys. Pause, that's what she said. About 14 minutes. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and I'll definitely be right back on track for the daily videos. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe.